you know, I've been kind of pretty down and depressed about a lot of things going on. Lately, and I've been told that I'm negative, that all my problems are my fault because of negative thinking and stuff like that. Well, damn it, it's just, I don't understand how anybody could, could see the real, could see the situation going on in the world and, and not be negative. It's like, it feels to me, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound mean or judgmental of people, but I can't help it. Because, you know, there's a quote, uh, all that's necessary for, for evil to prevail is that good men do nothing. I see in the world a whole myriad of, of horrible, horrible, just insane problems. I mean, you got basically what appear to be Satanist pedos running the world. The cost of living has gone up 20 to 100 times what it was when I was younger. There's homeless people all over the place. Every parking lot, every every park, everywhere you go, there's people homeless because they can't afford to live. They can't afford the cost of housing or rent. We've got basically like World War Three type of situations going on in the world. Just so much insanity, so much evil stuff happening. I mean, look at the... The jab, the jabberino, you know. What uh, what do you figure the outcome of that's gonna be, right? The people are not willing to look at the evil things, but to look at the ugliness of the world and see it for what it is, that it's wrong, that it's an extreme travesty and extreme injustice. If you can't even open up your eyes and look at it and see it for what it is, and you have to deceive yourself talking about thinking happy thoughts, then how is that anything ever going to be done to solve the problems in this world? So yeah, I'm kind of feel bitter. I feel bitter. And I feel depressed, negative, I feel angry because I'm expected to I'm sick of living in a world where so much is demanded of me, so much is demanded of everyone and you're surrounded constantly by all these people with all their positive thinking and happy-go-lucky attitude or whatever because these people are many of them living in much better situations and they grew up in a different time in 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 a, a world that was so much better where so much more opportunity presented itself to them so many more so much how is it fair? How the heck is it like, okay, for instance, right? The house I grew up in as a kid, I believe my parents paid about $25,000 for that. And the same house today would be probably upwards of a half a million dollars. Now, I can look back and say, yeah, I'm grateful that I got to live in a you know two-story house on like three acres and they had a mobile home out front they were able to rent out and to help pay the bills and everything but on the other hand how the heck is it fair now that 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 me I can't buy anything even close to that I can't even buy hardly buy a mobile home anywhere I can't even, like, 
I could have twice as much money as it would take to buy that place back then and still not be able to buy anything, even remotely close. How is that fair? How the hell is that fair? And for people who are, are older, who, you know, maybe got their together years ago and they've established this life, maybe they bought a house, you know, 20, 30 years ago or something, or they got a mobile home or something back in the day, back when they were, you know, back when you could get something for $5,000 and, you know, even in the 90s, man. The 90s, there were mobile home. I lived most of the last 20-some years in a mobile home that sold in the 90s for $7,000. And today it would be valued at two to 300000 I mean, that's insane. You know, there's people buying houses a hundred years old or more and they're paying a half a million dollars or more for these places when the house when it was brand new probably cost the person who had it built three thousand dollars or less to have it assembled and put in place brand new it's not like homes age like a fine wine you know that's how bad the inflation is and people aren't paying any attention to the real situation. People look, turn their heads away from all the negative stuff and they focus on the positive. That's the philosophy in life. And I gotta be honest with you, as nice as it is and as, as, as it's much more peaceful and happier existence to live that way. I know. But at the same time, I feel like the people that live that way under such terrible conditions do so at the expense of others. They do so in a, it seems selfish. It seems so selfish to just sit around and think happy, happy thoughts while so many other people are suffering in poverty, homelessness, you know, suffering in, in so many ways that it, could so easily be prevented if more people just woke the heck up and were willing to look at the problems in the world and, and admit that the emperor wears no clothes. Admit that the house is on fire. Grab a bucket of water, you know? Grab a fire extinguisher or get the heck out of the house. You can't just sit around smiling and saying, oh, everything's fine. Like this cartoon dog or whatever sitting in the house sipping the coffee this is fine while the house is burning down around him that's the situation we're in so excuse me for being negative but this world has gone so freaking insane so evil so dark that it is intolerable it's an intolerable injustice it's absurd and disgusting and for people to not recognize to not look at it and call it for what it is and admit that things are screwed up and they need to be fixed and something needs to be done the fact that nobody It's like a problem that would be so simple in so many ways. If more people do just recognize that there is a problem, admit that there is a problem. Stop with your happy, happy thoughts and smiling forever. And, you know, if we could get more people to go, oh crap, there's a problem. Oh crap, the house is on fire. Then maybe people could grab a bucket of water and these problems could be solved in the blink of an eye. But nothing ever, nothing's ever going to be fixed until people recognize and, and admit that there's a problem.
So yeah, maybe I sound negative. I sound negative because things in the world are very negative. Things are very dark right now. And nobody seems to be doing anything to fix them. People... It just makes me sick. It makes me sad. Especially living in America. I was a patriotic, you know, flag waving nephew of my Uncle Sam, you know, as I was growing up. I thought this was the greatest country in the world and it was filled with good, hard, you know, good, strong people, kind, loving, caring, you know, well intentioned somewhat intelligent people that would stand up for what's right and, you know, do away with injustice in the world. Boy, was I wrong. People won't even stand up to save children. I mean, how many children got injected with the jibby jet? Or, oop, might have said too many words there that I shouldn't have said. But, if that ends up causing harm, then... then what kind of scum are the people who would sit by and keep their mouth shut and not say anything about it and not do anything to stop it? You know? What kind of heartless, evil creatures are we in this world? A person with hundred million dollars or billion dollars can just look out the window of their fancy mansion and see people so poor they're broke living in a tent in the alley behind their house and instead of going out and helping or saying hey brother come on in what do they do they call men with weapons and clubs to beat the person and chase them away you know and live in a world where people with millions of dollars step over the poor and homeless on the streets and, and go online and rant and rave about how how they're scum and they're losers and how dare they you know spit on them cause, get a job bum I mean what kind of a hell are we in here You know, I watched this, uh, what, Yuri Bezmanov, one of those guys, he talked, old, uh, ex-KGB or something like that, he talked about a lot of things, one of the videos of him, and he talks about how the New Age movement and how all this peace, love, happiness stuff, how the, they, the KGB had used it. Uh, or, you know, thought that it was great and promoted it because they thought it would be a great way to demoralize the United States and, and bring us bring us down. I mean... I mean, look at this country, man. You had... I mean, for instance... Look how com how complacent, how complicit everyone seems to be, and how people just look away from all the ugliness in the world and they act like it doesn't exist because it makes them feel uncomfortable to think about negative things. Well, somebody's got to think about it, or nothing's ever going to get done to fix it. And it seems to me quite clear that nobody's willing to think about it no one's willing so it'll never get fixed all right bye